All right, I've got an email from Jesse Ray Ernster uh, asking me if I could try out his new plugin, which should be released today or like at the moment that I post this video. So let's get started. And of course, in a new style. All right, so the rubber band compressor which the thing is called, looks really interesting and kind of confusing. So it doesn't have a lot of settings, but uh, I mean, we've got crunch and tilt, we've got tension and snap, we've got attack and release, well, I know those things. We've got these two hands with these rubber bands, these, these elastic things uh, in between it. We've got oversampling, which I understand, but we also do have weight. Are we going to be weightlifting? Because... I mean, I mean, actually, that would be a good thing because in the studio we're constantly sitting. We're not really doing a lot of exercising. So anyway, the best way to figure out the knobs is by playing Sandstorm by the Root through it. So let's do that. Woo! And crunch is pretty straightforward, of course. It's it's some nice warmth and really nice warmth. And you can oversample it, of course, which you basically always want to do when doing distortion. Uh, tilt is interesting as well. Also pretty easy to understand. It's an it's an EQ tilt. It's it's nothing nothing difficult. However, tension and snap. I don't know. Woo! So snap really feels as if it's a threshold control and tension more or less like a style control so that you have like three styles of compression in here and of course we've got attack and release and this weight thing Whatever that may be. Now to round off the settings, we've got mix, auto makeup, and output. Uh, by the way, auto makeup is actually really great to have that turned on. I just really like a computer doing things for me that I don't have to do. So it's kind of a weird plugin, and it actually, when playing with it, sounds really good, but I have no understanding of why. And that scares me a little bit because it feels like I'm not in control. And apart from that, or on top of that, I'm also not getting really usable visual feedback. So that's that's another thing. Now, normally I would also take a look at the website, but that's impossible because this plugin is not released at this moment. But I do have a little bit of information. And let's see if we can understand this thing a little bit better using that information. From the wild mind of Grammy Award winning mixing engineer, Jesse Ray Ernster knows for his work with blah, blah, blah. And the technical prowess of Kive Audio's Eddie Lu Lu Luciola, Luciola comes from rubber band compression, the most flexible compressor ever made. It depends, of course, a little bit on what your interpretation of flexible is. Because with these controls, it's not really flexible. No, I have a different understanding of flexible. This bizarre and innovative new VCA style audio compressor simulates the compression effect and physical response of pushing audio signal into a theoretical rubber band with exponential dual stage resistance. I still don't understand it. The signal pushes into the rubber band and then snaps back aggressively based on the tension, timing and amount chosen by the user. I mean, tensioning a rubber band is kind of a timing thing, right? The user interface features adjustable hands that can pull the rubber band tighter or looser into three different tension positions. Let's read that again. The user interface features adjustable hands that can pull the rubber band tighter or looser into three different tension positions. And the rubber band represents gain reduction as it swoops, wiggles, pushes and pulls downwards according to the amount of snap applied. The resulting sounds range from bouncy to snappy, transparent to pumpy and explosive. All right, I can re-edit this text in like three sentences. Most flexible compressor ever, VCA style, using rubber band analogy uh, technique. 
Introductory price is nineteen ninety nine. So that's actually that's that's actually a very good price for such a plugin. It's it's really cheap. I don't know what the final price will be because this this is an introductory price. So yeah, it's a VCA style compressor and it sounds really good. I mean, Woo! listen to it. sounds VCA. So apparently the weight knob is there to, to thicken up the low ends or something. Restores the thick, juicy low end. Yeah, that's, that's what it does. Woo! So what do I think of this plugin? Is it snake oil or not? Well, as I said, I think I said it two times in the video, it sounds really good but I do not really feel in control and it isn't really the most flexible compressor ever made. Yeah, maybe because the rubber is flexible or something, but it's not really the most flexible. I mean, it has three different tensioning or styles or whatever you want to call it, which is not a lot compared to like a Pro C. There isn't any side chaining option. There, there isn't even a side chain filter so that I can cut off the, the low frequencies from, from the compression or whatever. So the most flexible compressor ever made is really a snake oil term to to, to mark this compressor. It's just not, from what I can say, it's just not, it, it, uh, the most, like that would be, the most flexible compressor would be a, a Melda Productions compressor with a, a few thousand controls. You don't even want to have that. <laughs> like it's not even marketing. I don't even want to have the most flexible compressor ever. Th that would really put me into a depression because being limited in controls or in options is what makes creativity flow and make it's, it's what makes it cool actually. So definitely a nope on the most flexible compressor. However, the rubber band compressor as, as a plugin itself and as I'm looking at it is definitely worth uh, a look. I actually don't know if there will be a demo. I think there will be. I better hope there will be a demo. If there is a demo, you can check it out yourself, which is the best way to figure out if something is great or not. So yeah, check it out. It, I will link it down below. And while you're down below and have tested the plugin, uh, also leave a comment down below with what you think of the plugin and also what you think of the new snake oil style that I'm doing right now. Is it great or not? I will do a few videos this style. And from there, I'll decide if I'll keep doing that. Full disclosure here, Jesse Ray did send me the plugin to test out and to make a video about so that I can have this on YouTube on the release date. He isn't going to see the video before you all are going to see the video and everything that I'm saying is my complete independent opinion. Now if you appreciate my independence and want to support it then please do by using the affiliate links down below. Click on the affiliate link, buy something in the shop and you've basically sponsored me for a little bit of your purchase. It, it, it doesn't cost you anything more than the thing that you are purchasing is costing you. Another way to support me is by pledging a bit to my Patreon campaign, which I'll link over here on Patreon. You get early access to videos, answers to your questions, uh, and some other good stuff behind the scenes, uh, all that stuff, all on Patreon. Last way to support me and the YouTube platform is by watching more videos, of course. So I'll link one of my videos over here, but you are, of course, free to watch videos from other creators. So make sure to do that. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Keep pushing. And bye-bye.